They say comparison is the thief of joy, and I agree. I believe that comparison is at its peak right now, and it's building so much insecurity and distraction within us. This is because we look at other people's success as our own failure, and it shouldn't be so. And in this video, I'm going to be going into detail as to why this happens and what you can do to be free from it. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Victoria, and on this channel, we talk about mindset and money matters, so you're welcome. And today, we're going to be dealing on the struggle of comparison. So if you struggle with comparison, it's usually rooted in something else. Comparison can lead to superiority or inferiority complex. And no matter which way it goes, it only removes that joy that you should be feeling after an accomplishment. Most likely, it may be stem from an insecurity that has been lodged in your mind in the past. It could be a word that was spoken to you maybe as a child, a teenager, in an abusive or toxic relationship a friend, or even somebody that you looked up to. The words that are spoken to you really matter. And getting rid of comparison requires that you investigate, that you do a deep search over the words that have been spoken over you. Because these words have become the hands that have molded, shaped, and created your identity. Before I go on, I want you to pause this video and I want you to ask God for the grace to help you repair the ground of your identity. Ground that hurtful words have shattered. Hearts that have been shattered and left unhealed. Because no matter how hard you avoid doing the inner work, it still shows up. And you don't want it showing up in something that truly, truly matters to you. One thing that you want to remember is that words matter. And apart from words that are spoken over you, the words that you speak over yourself matter too. In fact, it matters more. When your insecurity gets triggered from being left out, overlooked, instead of asking, why wasn't it me? Why was it her? Why wasn't I chosen? Maybe start asking, why does it matter? Discipline yourself to shut up that inner critic and be compassionate to yourself. Speak to yourself like you would speak to a friend. You need to switch your mindset into that space where you start to constantly remind yourself that everything about you, your perfections, your imperfections, your struggles, your wins, every single thing is what sets you apart for the unique calling and purpose. It's what makes you the best version of you. Self-acceptance is a trait that you must learn if you want to be happy. Even if you have regrets and you've made bad decisions in the past, see them as a stepping stone towards educating your future self to reflect on how you can do things better. After all, you can't undo the past year, but you can definitely improve this year. Remember that comparing yourself to other people, no matter how much of this person's journey that you feel you know or the person has shared, you don't see the little details. You don't see the hard times. You don't see what they went through. You don't see the challenges that form their values, the tears that they poured into, all the perfection that you so much desire. Bottom line is you don't know the whole story. It's really easy, really easy to fixate on something someone else has. Maybe it's their salary, their job, that fancy lifestyle. But do you know everything else in their life that comes with that? Do you want to endure their stress, the other problems they have and so on? If you do, that's okay. You can start working on your own life. And if you do not, problem solved. Stop comparing yourself with them. Here's the thing. God has designed you perfectly for that purpose that he has for you. Another person's success is not a reflection on you as a person or a lack of your success. Even your flaws and imperfections serve a purpose in God's hands. And that is why getting rid of comparison requires you to learn and see your deficiencies as intentional gifts from God. One prayer I make very often is, Oh Lord, help me to see you the way you see me. Perfect engraved in your palms, loved. I love this verse. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Remember that the words that you speak over your life matter. One thing that you can do to curb those feelings of insecurity and comparison is to give out those things that you want. 
If you feel triggered, left out, discouraged, why not turn those feelings into making sure that people don't feel that way? Make it an intentional effort to include them, to celebrate them, to affirm people when they are feeling left out, overlooked and discouraged, or maybe they're not feeling good enough. Removing comparison from your life requires you treating people the way that you would like to be treated. It's like healing your inner child. The toxic trait of comparison is that it affects the people that we know personally. So sometimes getting rid of it requires that we celebrate others. You cannot be in competition with someone that you're rooting to win, right? You cannot be threatened by somebody that you're celebrating. You don't have to measure yourself against someone else because there's no comparison their purpose is unique and yours is unique god doesn't create clones he doesn't create duplicates or extras so you want to cancel that lie that you're not good enough finally the truth is that there will always be people who are more fortunate than you are there are people that will be more attractive have more money have better opportunities and so on and some of us are just late bloomers but your time will come just because you don't have it now doesn't mean you have it bad it doesn't mean that you cannot be happy you cannot be fulfilled just because you don't have a huge supply of those things. Your source of validation needs to come from within yourself and from God. Run your own race, set your own goals, constantly improve yourself daily. Rather than comparing yourself, get inspired by others. It's okay to use their achievements as benchmarks to motivate and inspire you. Also, live a life where you take risks so that you don't end up with regrets. Learn lessons, acquire new skills, acquire knowledge, love up on yourself, appreciate life and tend your own garden so that you don't even have time to wonder who is better than you and who's not better than you. If you're ready to show up and share your best self, check out this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.